Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are talking about school management system and here we have some lots of options in the previous video we, uh, we did cover that is the grades, I mean to say that class, session and the students. So uh, in the last video tutorial we, uh, we did uh, add the student in the, in the current session by their, uh, if you want to add a new uh, student like that John Smith and the date of birth of the student and uh, mail and the passwords you can take it and register student in a database table so you can see here we have a register a new student like that so if you want to add that student in the first class in the current session like 2023 and 24 just click to submit and you will see that number of one records are added successfully and if you want to add the same student in the second class in the current session that is not sorry duplicates are not added okay so everything it is correct and now just go for the teachers actually so uh, in this video tutorial I am going to uh, tell you about the teacher services that is uh, already created by me in the teacher services so here we here you can see that add a session with the teacher add a teacher and the teacher with the page number and the page size and get all teachers are there and also we did in the previous video tutorial if you have seen that is the teacher services so according to the uh, uh, that is the add session with the teacher and add a teacher and uh, enroll the teacher into the current session that is the main thing of the project so here we have i grade service so similarly you can just add a teacher service also so here we have i teacher service and uh, here we have add teacher service okay now after that you you will uh, add a teacher okay now you will see Here we have a teacher's controller. Now in the teacher's controllers, first of all, add a teacher service like that. Okay, so here we have a iTeacher service, teacher service and session services like that. Now you, you know that uh, both uh, services are uh, actually added in the constructor. So initialize it in the constructor. So here you can see that here we have an index method that with the page number and the page size. Like uh, a page number, a index have with the select list with the session services. With the id and the combo uh, combined id i mean to say that combined it means you can uh, just view the start at the end on the view back and uh, the old teachers are there with the page size and the page number so here we have a get all method so just get the old teachers as well So teacher service dot get all teacher with the page number and the page size. Now the next method is to add add a teacher with the HTTP get and HTTP post create teacher view model VM. Okay. So here we have a create a teacher view model VM like that. So 
so and uh, and the next one is enrolled teacher into the current session so first of all check the session id and the session id is not equals to null if the session id and session id is not equals to null then you can say that uh, please select a uh, session and uh, the next one is the selected uh, teachers and uh, vm.data.where x dot selected equals to true and select dot id of the teacher's id and the current session id we will pass into the add session with the teacher action method so here we have and you know that when the teacher is added the notification of the toaster will be updated So here we have a x dot selected equals to true selected select equals to y dot id dot to list teacher services dot add session with the teachers session id and teacher id result is double equals to zero i mean to say that attempt error with the sorry duplicates are not added if result is greater than zero then you can say that number of results number of records are added successfully like that so here we have some comp uh, complica uh, complications occurs if you have so just uh, first of all check add session with the teacher with their session id and the teacher id is there a list of integer teacher id is there okay so if you go for the implementation you can just go for the implementation also just right click on it and just go for the implementation and here you can see that here we have a count zero and by using the unit of work dot generic repository you just get the session with include the session id and the teacher session also included and by using the for each loop you have two teacher ids iterate and you can just check that is already added that is session id and the same the teacher id is added that is duplicate is not allowed so if it is not added then add the session with the teacher session dot add teacher id and the session id and the count will value will be updated by one so these are the logic behind this and already created in the previous videos if you have seen so the basic logic is here okay so session dot teacher session that is the middle and the navigation path between the session and the teachers dot add okay so everything is i think it is fine now just go for the next session Okay, so here we have a teacher service so dot add session with the teacher. So just now, uh, now I'm going to add uh, some uh, views for the add teacher index and uh, uh, so uh, here we have a razor view. Just I'm going to add a empty view on uh, for the index view. So just after that, we will add some uh, HTML code for the index because here we have a uh, you know that the p is result class okay so everything you know that about the index page so school project one narration school project two so lots of projects are there for the school so here we have a index page where we have the select list for the session and get all teachers so uh, a list of the teachers are also visible but uh, when we click on the new teacher so just uh, uh, just go for the add teacher also and here we have a list of the session where the selected teachers also add in or you can say that enrolled so here we have a school project dot utilities where we have a uh, list of the student so uh, here we have a page result class so by using the page result class you can just check the when we click on the um, submit button uh, for adding um, the teacher id in the session id with the session id so here we have a session id list in the select list and here we have a submit button so just when we click on the submit button that enroll teacher will call and here we have 
now also here we have a second button for the add teacher and uh, just call ESP action add teacher when we click on the uh, add teacher button okay so that is the division part and the next part is the table view with the select all uh, checkbox and here we have a model dot data dot count uh, where we have a for each loop and the first thing is to add checkbox ESP for that model dot data of i dot selected that is created the checkbox and second value is a hidden that will value will be sent to the model dot data of i dot id and here we have a javascript code or you can say that J, uh, javascript code where we check uh, that all uh, checkboxes are checked and all checkbox are disabled okay so the by using the properties by using the prop function you can just check the checked states okay so uh, when we click on any checkboxes the state of the checkboxes will be changed okay so that's that is the logic for the adding uh, teacher into the current session so uh, the next value uh, the next uh, topic is to add teacher into the layout page so here we have a li page and just go for the next li and add a teacher and area is admin and asp controller is teachers controller now uh, if you want to uh, run your uh, teachers controllers uh, and also if you have a uh, area if you have a teacher inside in admin area so just go for the admin and here you can see that here we have a admin area ASP controller is a teachers controller and ASP action is what ASP action is index so student is there and teacher is there okay so everything you know about this and the next one is the page is at class school projects dot view models dot teachers view model now okay Now when we click on the add teachers, the teachers will be added into the So uh, here we have a So teachers control is there now here we have a add teacher method so just you uh, you have to add a new teacher controller okay so uh, that is the logic for add teacher and here you have to add a new teacher so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to school project in asp.net core and don't forget please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon and if you like this video please uh, like that video and also share this video and if you want uh, the complete school management project then you wait for some times but if you want uh, the school management project code then you can join this channel and if you want any other uh, source code any other project codes like uh, uh, shopping cart project like uh, fast food project like uh, restaurant bill project then you can join the channel and you will get the code because uh, you know that a code is available uh, on when you join the channel. If you are a member of this channel, you will get the code. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and happy life. And you will see the outputs here we have. So here we have a teachers actually. So add a teacher and after that, we will add the teacher in the current session. Thank you very much for watching.